Hey everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. I'm finally back. <laughs> well, mostly back. This is basically just going to be a test. I just got a new computer and had to re-upload all of my software and everything. So I'm just testing to make sure that this is going to work. I've got an IOD mold. This is by Prima. And this one in particular I got because I love this clock. I'm going to try using the Amazing Casting Resin in it, which I know will work. I've seen many videos and I've tried it myself. So I'll be right back and I'll set this up. Okay, this is about five minutes. And as you can see, it's turned white around the edge. But it's still rather translucent in the center where it's thinner. So I'm going to wait another mm, five minutes or so and then I'll come back and show you again. Okay, it's been about five more minutes. You want to just be sure that you can't feel any heat coming off the resin piece. It's so easy to pop out. It's still sort of flexible. The resin is. And it will be until it fully sets. So if you wanted to shape this around something like a bottle or something, now would be the perfect time. As you can see, it's really flexible. All right. I think it actually goes this way. I have made several of these. Um, just using acrylic paint and then another top coat of clear resin after the paint has dried. So um, this is they're all deco arts paints this one I believe is worn penny um, this one I think is sparkling gold maybe and this is a silver this one is um, an old brand I'm not sure what brand it is all right so I'm just gonna paint this one up and um, show you what I did okay this one is actually champagne gold. It's a very, very sparkly gold. It's actually one of my favorites. And even though it's really light for a gold, it's so shimmery and sparkly. I absolutely love it. But Deco Arts has a really, really big line of metallics. And they have a large selection of gold. This one is splendid gold. This one is emperor's gold. And they have many more. So I think I'm going to try the splendid gold. The emperor's gold. I'm sorry. Alright, when using metallics, acrylic paints, you should always, always shake the bottle to mix up the uh, particles that are in there. Alright, I'm just going to give it a first coat of the gold. Then I'll do the white. Then I'll come back and do a second layer of the gold. I'll do two coats of gold, two coats of white. A coat of white, a coat of a coat of gold, <laughs> two coats of white, and then another coat of gold. So I'm not going to show painting the whole thing because I know you don't want to watch paint dry. But I'll just give you an idea. Um, these resin pieces take paint beautifully. especially the um, higher textured 
areas. These edges um, really will benefit from the second coat. Alright, see how I got a little out of line right there? That's why the uh, first coat of gold, then the coat of white. Just to help keep your lines a little cleaner. Alright, so I'm going to continue on with this and I'll be right back. I finished the two coats of the white and the two coats of the gold. I uh, painted the hand on the clock. Uh, off to the side here, I've got a little bit of, I believe it's called walnut. A brown, and I mean a tiny bit. All I did was dip my paint brush in the cap and put it on my glass. And I'm going to add some water. I want this to be really watered down. Because of course I didn't want to paint or even try to paint the numbers because they're so fine. Alright. I don't really want my brush strokes to show either. Alright, I'm just going to let that dry completely. I'll probably let it set um, for at least an hour. I, I want it completely dry, no residual moisture in it at all before I try to put the resin on top. And then I will mix up some amazing clear cast and put that in the center. And these have turned out so cute. I can't wait to use these in projects. So, if you're still with me, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.